Hi, my name is Emmy from Tablespoon, and you're watching Holiday Hacks. There's only so much time in December to get every festive thing done that you want to get done. The priority for me is always to make cookies, but I don't always have time to start and finish cookies in the same day. That's where slice and bake cookies come in. Slice and bake cookies are awesome because you make the dough ahead of time, then you roll it up and put it in the fridge, and then when you're ready for cookies, you slice and bake. Today we'll be making my favorite slice and bake cookie. It's a chocolate with a marshmallow on the inside, kind of like an Oreo cookie. We're gonna start by mixing some flour, some cocoa, some baking soda, powder, and salt together. Now that we're done with our dry ingredients, it's time to mix our wet ingredients. We're gonna be mixing in this big bowl some butter and sugar, creaming it together until it's nice and fluffy. Next, we're gonna add one egg and beat it in gradually. We know we're good to go because the batter has gotten back to that nice, light, fluffy state, and if it starts to creep up the edges of the bowl, you just scrape it down. And then last to this wet, we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla. So we have our wet ingredients, we have our dry ingredients, now we're gonna mix them together slowly. Okay, we have our lovely chocolatey dough. Now we're gonna divide it into two sections. So this is the dough that we're gonna store and keep in our refrigerator. If you make it ahead of time, you can keep it in your fridge for about 48 hours, but if you wanna make it way ahead of time, wrap it up and put it in your freezer for about a month and it'll still keep. So we're gonna get some saran wrap to wrap it up. And you want each roll to be about two inches in diameter and about eight inches long. So we're going ahead and making the basic shape of the cookie before we put it in the refrigerator. After this is firmed up for a while, we'll be able to slice the dough into pieces and then we'll just put that on a cookie sheet and it'll be ready to go. Okay. So like I said, these can keep in your fridge for two days or in your freezer for up to a month. If you wanna go ahead and make them right now, they do have to sit in the fridge for just a little bit to chill, and then we'll be able to slice them and bake them. Okay, so our dough's been in the fridge for about two hours. It's nice and firm, and it's ready to slice and bake. So using a nice sharp knife, you'll wanna cut quarter inch pieces. Now we're gonna transfer our cookies onto an ungreased cookie sheet. You wanna space these about two inches apart. They do spread in the oven. And then if the shape is kind of wonky, you can sort of squish it out to the right shape you need. Okay, now we're gonna pop these in the oven at 375 for six to seven minutes. So while our cookies are baking in the oven, we're gonna make a nice creamy marshmallow fluff to go in the center. Like I was saying earlier, this is based off an Oreo cookie, so chocolate on the outside, creamy on the inside. We're gonna use a whole container of marshmallow fluff. If you ever have any trouble getting marshmallow fluff out of the jar, if you actually use a slightly damp, slightly warm spoon, it actually gets it out kind of nicely. This one seems to be coming out okay. And then we're gonna add some butter. And a little vanilla. Then we're gonna start with two to three tablespoons of milk, but as we incorporate the powdered sugar, we might need more. Um, we might need less too, so I'm just gonna start with two. Now it's time to mix. Okay. 
So you want the final consistency to be nice and spreadable, but not runny. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna check on our cookies, and once those are done, we'll let them cool, and then we will spread this on them, sandwich together, and they'll be ready to eat. Our cookies are done and cooled, our frosting's ready. Now all that's left to do is assemble. I'm gonna take a generous scoop of this, put it on the cookie, and then sandwich a cookie on top. And there you have it, a slice and bake cookie that you can make ahead and bake when you're ready. This is just one of a few slice and bake cookie recipes we have over on Tablespoon, so head over there now or click the link in our bio for more ways to stay sane this holiday season. Happy baking, everybody.